you will hate being on our team because of one of our core values, service above self. Yes, it sounds great. And probably a lot of clinics, medical clinics, acupuncture clinics, uh, preach that they are service above self. So let me give you our definition of service above self. Service above self basically means, in plain words, we put the patient's interest always as number one. No exceptions. Patient's interest, patient's benefits, always as number one. So what does that mean? That requires sacrifice. In order to do that, service above self. We sacrifice our self our benefits for the service in order to service others. That is, you know, I got this from the Rotary International and loved it, right? And this is one of the reasons why we have um, we, we have the most five-star Google reviews than any acupuncture clinic in the entire United States. Um, it's because we practice service above self, but it is so hard to do. And that's why many people don't like that. So if this is a value that you don't believe in, it's okay, right? Just know that if you to, were to join our team, you would hate it because we practice service above self. Let me give you some other examples. Uh, so to clarify our definition. So if it's convenient for you, if we do things, if you do things that's convenient for you first, instead of convenient for the patient, that's not service above self. So if we do things, so let me give you a more detailed example. So sometimes we got to show up early. Maybe, you know, some, some patients once in a while, they have a meeting. They're like, hey, can I come in early? You know, I got this meeting at this time. It's an important meeting. We're going to say yes. And we're going to do whatever we can to make that happen. All right. Uh, or a patient was in a meeting where they had some trouble at home, couldn't get to their appointment. Their appointment was at five o'clock and we close at six. And they're like, I can't make it till 530. Can, can I still come in? We're always going to say yes right? Because their benefit comes first, service above self, right? And I know some clinics don't like that. I understand that. This is not right or wrong. This is just the value of our clinic. Um, I know, you know, we as a team member, we have our families, we have our lives, um, and I completely understand that, right? And in our clinic, we choose to to live by service above self, which is putting the patient's benefit interest in front of ours. So if we have to stay late, we have to show up early, we do that. Now, of course, if the patient consistently does that and doesn't respect our time, then we need to, we will have a conversation with that patient. We're not saying making those exceptions every single time. We can't be open 24 seven, at least not yet, right? But for the time being, we will make those, you know, exceptions when the patients, you know, when, it, when it's gonna benefit the patient. So that's, a, that's another example. And here's a big one. Here's a big one that will probably uh, really solidify if you understand uh, our service above self taking vacations. So I also coach other acupuncture clinics, uh, acupuncturists all around the world. And I see a lot of times an acupuncture clinic will, whether it's an acupuncturist, whether you're an acupuncturist where you're a front desk, where you're a marketer, or it, it doesn't matter what, what position you're in, right? So uh, uh, you, you tell the patient, your clinic tells the patient, right? Your, your provider tells the patient, they need to come three times a week, three times a week for four weeks. But then, you know, what I found is that, okay, the acupuncturist decides, oh, I want to go on vacation. So they're going to take a two-week vacation. But here's the thing. You prescribed, that clinic prescribed for that patient to come three times a week for four weeks. But now the provider is going on vacation for two weeks. So the patient, what's going to happen to the patient? The patient is going to have to wait for that provider to come back to continue their treatments. Right. And as an acupuncture clinic, each treatment builds on momentum, right? Builds on upon each other. So when you have a two week break, you just negated everything that you did the, the previous two weeks for our. I mean, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm just saying for our clinic, it is wrong. That's not service above self. Right. If we if our personal life affects the, the results, the treatments for the patients that we promised them that we would deliver. That is not service above self, 
right? So that's a great example. Now, we're not, I'm not saying that we never take vacations. That's the beauty of being on our team is that we have many providers. And so we have people to cover. But I just want you to have that thinking process, right? Because sometimes we will be short staffed. In a sense, some people will be sick, some people on vacation, uh, which means some of the team members cannot take vacations. Let's say a couple of team members are sick or they had a family emergency, and which happens. That's life, right? So that means your, your vacation that you had scheduled, you'll need to cancel it in order to serve the patients, right? Now, does that happen every single time? No, it doesn't. But we expect you to have that, uh, that mindset and, and the ability to sacrifice because that's required of every single team member in the time we need, right? If a team, another one, if the team members are sick, you're going to have to step in, right? That is service above self because we're not going to let our own personal circumstances affect the patient's benefit. If we tell the patients they need to come three times a week for four weeks and we are not available, we drop the ball. That to me is unethical, right? That is our definition of service above self. And many of the you know uh, providers, medical clinics, acupuncturists, I know they'll disagree with that. And that's okay, right? That just means we won't be a good fit because if you join our team, you're going to be miserable. And that's the last thing I want. So I want you to be happy. I want every one of my team members to be happy. So if the, if what I just described you to, to you would make you miserable and make you hate being on our team, that's a great indication that we will not be the best team for you, right? Again, let me know if that's the case and I can help you find another team that would fit your values a little better.